Hey, welcome back to the Hard Angle Barn. Today we're going to look at the brake lathe I just picked up. So this is exactly how I got it with the cart. Everything's wound in all the way. It's definitely going to need a little bit of oiling and greasing. It's been sitting in a shed for many, many years. It came with this bucket of parts. I believe that's the arbor. It goes on the end there to mount the uh, rotors and or drums to. So let's get to moving everything out, getting it greased up, waking it back up, getting it cleaned, and seeing if we can do some test cuts. So the wiring for this sensor and the wiring for this motor were both ripped off when I picked this up. And I'm not sure how to distinguish what is what. Everything inside, you know, it's not labeled. Um, so I'm gonna assume this being further this way goes to this one, this being further that way goes over here to this one. And if it doesn't work, I'll switch them. So I wanted to check if this wiring was correct before I soldered it. So I hook this thing up to power real quick, pop off the stop, and hit start. The spindle starts running. And if I push in the feed, it feeds itself. Turn it up to rub, it feeds faster. So I gotta be careful because obviously the stop isn't hooked up yet, but I have confirmed that those are correct and I'm gonna finish wiring this up, doing all the soldering, and we should be operational. So here's the rear rotor that we did. It looks pretty good with the finish cut, front and back. Um, by the way, these were pulled out of the scrap bins. So that's why they look so terrible. They were just my setup pieces. And this is a front rotor. That edge was a little chewed up. I would have to take off so much just to fix that. And this side's already thinner than the front side. So there's that. So I got this thing cleaned up and ready to roll and put away for now. I wanted to get some more footage of it running, but uh, for some reason my phone decided instead of filming, the camera's gonna crash and delete every clip. I managed to get the two clips, one doing the first cut on the rotor, and you can see it cut in half because of the run out that's in the, uh, in the rotor. And I did that second one, which is the finish cut, and you could see the differential between the first rough cut and the second finish cut. Um, I'm going to do another video in the future. I think I'm going to take uh, a full set of rotors on one of my cars I drive, true them up, put them on the car, and actually see if I'm doing it right or if I'm going to ruin a whole set of my rotors. So uh, stay tuned for that. I also have a set of slotted rotors. I want to try to cut those and see how those act on this thing. 
As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one, and I will talk to you all later. Bricklays. I'm so stoked on this. This is so cool. to say I